IBM Crawford is staking its future on Watson. At what point do you think we'll start to see Watson generating significant revenue? Um, I think in an individual project basis, you're, you're starting to see the seeds of that now. Um, when you look at what we call the innovation accelerators, which are things like the Internet of Things, next generation security, robotics, um, uh, uh, cognitive uh, solutions, 3D printing. If you look at all those areas, the one area that you can pull through all those is cognitive. So cognitive is a bet on invention that IBM has made and that will drive significant value in the future. So for example, when you look at companies' journey toward digital transformation between now and 2020, the only area that really increases, and we see it increasing, by four percentage points in terms of, uh, sorry, six percentage points in terms of how much people will invest is in information management. That will be driven by cognitive solutions because people just can't help you get those answers. You need cognitive solutions. So we will see that really start to accelerate in the 2018, 2019 timeframe. But we're already seeing the seeds of that in some of their engagements today. David, you've spent time with IBM CEO Ginny Rometty. How confident are you that this strategy is the right strategy? Uh, they're putting an awful lot of chips uh, in this AI Watson basket. Is it going to pay off? Well, like Crawford, I, I admire these people. I mean, I've been covering IBM for over 25 years. And the fact is, you know, they have made some really big bets in some areas that took a lot of kind of guts to do, and I'm impressed at the growth they're getting out of those areas. And it was I was just sitting there thinking, what if IBM got a valuation just for those growth areas that was comparable to the kind of valuation Netflix is getting for its business? They would probably be able to not even count the incredible revenues and profits they still get from those declining other businesses in their portfolio, like mainframes and all the old style, relatively unsexy software that they've had for years. They've always been a portfolio business. They're managing the portfolio pretty well, but it's hard to run a big portfolio. I'm impressed. Crawford IBM saying on the call they're going to continue to invest in acquisitions. They've already made 12 acquisitions so far this year. Uh, what impact are acquisitions having on revenue growth? Well, they're, they're absolutely having an impact. Look at it in terms of strategic imperatives. I mean, if, if you look at their acquisition of a company, well, for, so for starters, if you look at the cloud, um, their acquisition in the cloud really is what gave them um, the basis for them to start growing that that. That, that, that business, you know, three or four years ago. Now, go a little bit more uh, near term, their acquisition uh, of the weather company um, it was a significant acquisition and it did a few things. It gave them a, a platform to start building out and attracting developers toward weather data, which is one of these ubiquitous kinds of data sets, but it also gave them skills around building that into cognitive solutions that they didn't otherwise have. So I think when you look at IBM and acquisitions, look to the industries, look to vertical segments, understanding purchase behavior, understanding how people, what data sets are really scarce um, in, in different industries like logistics, like transportation, like healthcare, um, that is right. likely where IBM will go. Last quick question, Crawford. When will we be reporting the first quarter of revenue increases? <laughs> well, that has to do a lot with a lot of things, um, you know, currency fluctuations. Um, but I, I think it really spins on the financial services business and the systems business at IBM. And unfortunately, like we've seen with a lot of other tech suppliers, those systems businesses can decline for a long time because they're really, really big. Um, I do think we should be getting close to that in the next four quarters. Um, again, as IBM um, you know, c continues to balance this portfolio, but I think the real thing you want to focus on right now is the progress that they've made.